Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Not only green when summer's here, but also when it's cold. Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, thy leaves are so unchanging. Mm -hmm. Oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, such pleasure do. Bring me, oh Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree, such pleasure do you bring me. Oh, every year this Christmas tree brings to us such joy and glee. Oh, Christmas tree, oh Christmas tree. Such pleasure do you bring All right, welcome to worship. Welcome to our family service. You've been enjoying photos of Christmas trees from families within our congregation, Methodist Temple. It is Sunday, December the 20th, and today is Family Worship Sunday. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is, like I said, Pastor Andy. The dream and the vision that we have for our church is that we would be a safe and non-judgmental community in Jesus' name. And the way we live into that is we seek to connect to the people that we love in life-giving ways, we seek to share ourselves with our community and others in order to expand that circle of love. And we always seek to explore and look for the face of God and the spark of God's love in every person that we meet. And I certainly hope and I pray in these next moments as we gather for family worship on this Sunday, uh, the Sunday before Christmas, uh, that you would experience uh, God's love in a life-giving way. It is a tradition within uh, the, the church and worship for us to light an advent candle every Sunday leading up to Christmas. And today we're lighting the fourth advent candle. And I want you to hear me when I say this. Today we light this candle as a sign and a symbol that tells us that Christmas is coming. And nothing can stop it. Christmas is on the way this Sunday. And the burst of God's love is going to enter into our lives today. I'm going to pray, and as I pray, I'm going to invite my friend Reba now to come, and she's going to get ready to sing for us our opening carol, Joy to the World. So let us pray. God of love, we do thank you for this family worship experience. We, we thank you for every family that is participating even now. And we do ask your blessing upon each and every person, uh, both gathered here to make this service possible, but also watching online. We indeed are the body of Christ today. We ask your blessing upon our lives, and we ask for a sense of your spirit and presence, even as we prepare our hearts for the celebration of Christmas. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, Reba's going to now come and sing for us our opening carol, Joy to the World. Sing and 
heaven and nature sing and heaven heaven nature sing joy to the earth the savior reigns let men their songs employ all hills and floods rocks hills and plains repeat the sounding joy repeat the sounding joy repeat repeat the sounding joy no more the sins the sorrows grow no thorns in the for singing such a wonderful, wonderful way, uh, Joy to the World. All right, so it's, it's this point in the worship service we've all grown to love where Pastor Andy tells a bad joke. And here's my bad joke, a bad Christmas joke for everyone. The only requirement is you have to laugh at my jokes. I won't tell it if you don't promise to laugh at my joke. So will you promise to laugh at my joke? Okay, here we go. So what does a gingerbread man use for covers? What? A cookie sheet, of course. Oh, solid. It's solid, I know. It, those who are watching online, you can feel the laughter coming through via the, the internet. All right, so on that note, I do, I see Christ in you. Let's roll our greeting video and see how we're going to be challenged to connect to someone today and this week. Okay, so the challenge for today is to connect with someone that you normally sit with on Sunday morning, someone that you normally sit with in the pew. You can send them a text message, an email, a card, but reach out and connect with someone. Tell them you see Christ in them and celebrate the God's love in their life. We're going to now continue our worship with a prayer time, and today we have a very special guest who's going to be praying for us. Today, our special guest is Santa Claus, who is going to lead us now in prayer. Well, it is good to see you all again, even in this very strange way of me seeing you through the camera and you seeing me through the screen. It's a strange year, but Christmas is coming. Nothing can stop it. And so, I want to share with you a prayer that I pray every Christmas Eve just before I get in the sleigh and begin my journey. And you might find yourself singing these words somewhere along the way. The prayer is this. Be near me, Lord Jesus. I ask thee to stay close by me forever and love me, I pray. Bless all the dear children in thy tender care and lead us to heaven to live with I know you're going to have a wonderful Christmas. It will be different, but it will be wonderful. And I will see you on Thursday night with your eyes closed. Let's celebrate with gusto on Friday morning. Merry Christmas and a very happy and healthy for this service today. We have a couple homemade Christmas carols from the Peyton family and the Anderson family.
Thank you to the uh, Peyton girls, Ella and Paige, for Jingle Bells, and the Anderson girls, and PJ, who was there, there taking off his antlers during the song um, for singing Rudolph. Thank you, thank you very much for, for those offerings and those gifts. At this time, Pastor Jillian is going to come, and she has a, a special presentation of the Christmas story for us. About that time, Emperor Augustus gave orders that the names of all the people should be listed in record books. These first records were made when Quirinius was governor of Syria. Everyone had to go to their own hometown to be listed. So Joseph had to go from Nazareth in Galilee to Bethlehem in Judea. Long ago, Bethlehem had been King David's hometown, and Joseph went there because he came from David's family. Mary was engaged to Joseph and traveled with him to Bethlehem. She was very soon going to have a baby, and while they were there, she gave birth to her firstborn son and dressed him in baby clothes and lay him in a bed of hay, because there was no room for them in the inn. That night, in the fields near Bethlehem, some shepherds oh, were guarding their sheep. And all at once, an angel of the Lord came down to them from heaven. The shepherds were frightened, and the glory of the Lord's brightness flashed all around them. But the angel said, don't be afraid. I have good news for you, which will make everyone happy. On this very day in King David's hometown, a savior was born for you. He is Christ the Lord. You will know who he is, because you will find him wearing baby clothes and laying on a bed of hay. And suddenly, many other angels came down from heaven and joined in singing, Praise God and peace on earth to everyone who pleases God. Once the angels had left and gone back into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let's go to Bethlehem and see what the Lord has told us about. So they hurried off, and they found Mary and Joseph. And they saw the baby laying on a bed of hay. So this is our question today that I hope you'll take a minute or two to talk about and answer with the people you love at home. What is the best news that you have ever gotten in your entire life? The best news you ever heard? And how did it make you feel at first when you heard it. So we'll leave this question up on your screens for just a moment, and then we'll have our closing music. I will invite Livy Fair and Lauren Lowe to come forward and share our closing song with us, Silent Night.
Well, thank you very much, ladies, for sharing your gifts with our congregation. As we close our family worship today, I invite you to repeat after me in our closing prayer, big people and small people. Dear God, take us to Christmas. Amen. And now on behalf of our whole church, the Harding family would like to wish you Merry Christmas as we go. Merry Christmas.